All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out in Holly, Michigan today doing a little antiquing in the Midwest. We are heading to the Vintage Farmhouse. Um, we have like three shops to visit out here in Holly, but the Vintage Farmhouse is number one. Um, let me see if I can find out what they have to say about the Vintage Farmhouse. I'm unprepared as I have. Okay. Like yep. All right, so the Vintage Farmhouse, I hear in our uh, 2024 edition of the Antique Shops of Michigan booklet. Uh, the Vintage Farmhouse is a hidden gem in Michigan, treasure hunter's paradise. There are over 50 vendors selling antiques, vintage, and unique items. Give yourself some time as the place is over 8,500 square feet. Sip a free cup of coffee and enjoy the peaceful music as you shop. Hopefully there's no music. No, we'll just but there won't be. Nah, nah, there will be. No off. big deal. Music's fine. We just always got to make sure we deal with it when uh, we record. So, so yeah, the Vintage Farmhouse, and then we'll be heading to Blue Willow Exchange, as well as Holly Antiques and Bats on the Belfry. So, we are heading inside. It looks like a lot of fun here. A lot of people showing up at that place. So, it's gonna be fun to go check out. So, um, so far, Holly's a nice little small town, which I which kind of surprised like every other town. Towns. Every other town seemed like a big town we were going to, but Holly seems like a small town, and we like the small town. So uh, let's run inside, and I think it's going to be here a little bit. So it'll be a nice long video for you guys to enjoy at the vintage farmhouse in Holly, Michigan. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah, it's all connected, I think. I don't all know. right, let's check out the vintage farmhouse. And if we have to voice over, we'll we have, have to, to voice come over. Back out here and well, we can go right now if you want to. Shop. Which is at best. I think it's cool. Ceramic. Oh, it's an all. So, 29. That's, that's a good price. That is a good price. Oh, which is plant stand. Oh my gosh. Uh, plant stand is. I don't know. Looks like that has uh, been that's rained and snowed on. Oh, that's a cool piece. <clears throat> Look at that. Yeah, it is. That is a cool piece. Nice. Pelican's cool. I already know somebody that'd buy that. I just don't. This place is nice. This is like an old school antique store. It's like 44. It's not bad. No. I like the, you know where this would look good at? Underneath our uh, cabinet, our lighted cabinet. Oh yeah, it's too tall though. You sure? Yes, because the, the tiger's under there right now. Yeah. And there ain't much room. Well, we can cut off a section. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. We grab the shopping cart. What? There's a shopping cart. Oh. Hello. Hi. How are we doing? Hi. How are we doing today? Doing oh, good. Fantastic, thank you. Oh, a cookie. Would you like a cookie? I would. No, I'm no. No. I'm, I'm eating a cookie. You got that white metal. It's very faded. So, no yeah. rush, mom, because we still got to go it's, do a lot of yeah, shopping. Let me, but, let me go check with the owner. That's hers. Okay, so. I just yeah. couldn't read the tag. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so let's get going back through the vintage farmhouse here. Obviously, they had a little bit of radio on, so we uh, want to make sure we voice over it. If you guys don't understand why I voice over these, uh, with the radio going, uh, YouTube does copyright our videos, so that kind of puts a kibosh on a lot of things that we can do on here. So uh, voiceover is fun too, though, because it gives us a chance to talk a little more about what we see that we don't talk when we're there, and we can watch over the video a little more and kind of go from there as well. So uh, this place was a lot of fun. Uh, this was actually our sixth stop on the day. We were on the road by 8.30. By the way, that beautiful spindle cabinet right there was really nice. Um, uh, but this was our sixth shop on the day. Uh, so by this time, and it's no fault to anybody, we were a little burnt out for the day. We had a long day, a lot of traveling. Uh, so we were, uh, you know, still had a lot of fun here for sure because Vintage Farmhouse was a great store. It was probably the best store or close to the best store in Holly between them and Holly Antiques, both really great stores. So I don't want to make it seem like that, but by this time, it was a long day, so we were kind of... You know, so we, you know, when we go through looking for stuff to try to buy, it's like, man, you know, <laughs> it's just a long day. You guys know how that goes sometimes. So uh, we did take our time and go through this whole place. So we were here for well over, uh, well over an hour. And I mean, for someone that's just normally coming into shop, you better give yourself at least a two hour time limit to 
come through and actually see everything and make sure you look over everything really well because this place was so well designed and decorated like when you were going through looking at stuff it was just like wow people take a lot of time to put into their booth and a lot of effort that goes into it and you can definitely see it with the vintage farmhouse so shout out to all their vendors and the owner because I thought this was probably the nicest store we came into all day. And, I mean, that's through eight shops we went through in the area. So uh, I thought they uh, set this one up really nice. It was decorated really nice. It was just a lot of fun to go through for me and Amber that, you know, are two people that we go to so many antique shops. So to be able to come in and go through this one and, you know, be surprised or delighted by something like that was really cool. So... Um, but yeah, Holly's a small little town too. It's not like it's a huge town. So it has that small town feel that I think you guys would definitely appreciate too when you guys come out and visit because you guys definitely want to come out and visit this place. Um, but yeah, each booth you could tell had a, nice, uh, a lot of nice spring decor. I would assume they have a spring sale coming up or already passed. And I mean, a lot of their vendors showed that as well because it was just a lot of good decor, a lot of good decorations. I feel like we found a lot of things that came to that spring look, but we've bought so much spring stuff over the last year for our store that you know we don't really don't look for as much as you'd think so um so yeah i didn't have a chance to buy a lot we had a nice little blow mold up here the, the easter blow mold amber already has the egg blow molds we came across those at an estate sale those sell for like 10 to 20 bucks a piece uh if you get the right colors i think they look really good with a nice setup you can do with uh, the blow molds if you have a small little design or small little setup you do for easter um and then I found another Cleveland Browns glass here. Uh, it was kind of weird how many Cleveland Brown things I was finding that day. Um, I didn't end up buying it because glasses are tough. If you're not going to have a huge glass collection, I didn't want to have like a, sm a couple of small glasses. So I ended up putting back, but it was a good price on it. I think it was from the 1980s. Uh, then you got the Toby mugs there. The Toby mugs are something that there is, um, there is a few collectors that I know that every time I get those in, they are buying those up every time. Not a problem at all. Uh, so Toby mugs are something I look for every now and then, but my clientele is not super into them, so I don't try to go out of my way to buy every one I see because a lot of people that are collecting them have so many of them already that I don't really like taking the chance on buying for people that, you know, you just never know. Um, but also, too, we have uh, a lot of our vendors and a lot of even people off of YouTube as well um, will contact us having us look for stuff when we go out to all these antique stores because I'm telling you guys, we go all over the Midwest. So if there's ever anything you're looking for that you are legit like, yes, I will buy this or I will at least consider it, let us know because we are always out there shopping. I mean, you know, I know better than have somebody shop for you and we ship them out all over the U.S. as well. So um, Amber has a nice red display, as I'm pointing out here to her. Uh, she has a nice red display in our kitchen, which you guys have probably seen in past videos. So I always try to show, <clears throat> I always try to point out to her at least because I'm sure she'll see it anyway, but at least point out to her, you know, any kind of red kitchen to stuff I see because... Those are uh, something she collects, and so we always make sure we try to point out things for each other. That way we don't miss it, because in a big shop like this, 8,500 square feet, uh, you can miss some things. And, I mean, you guys have pointed them out to me as well when I walk through and do these uh, tours, is that, you know, Mike, you missed this, or Mike, you didn't see this. It's like, sometimes I do, <clears throat> excuse me, I do miss out on things like that, because... There's so much to look at. In a place like this, there's a lot to look at. Now, of course, I'm a, I'm a comic guy, so these are all reprints, though, of older comics, which, I you know, they're cool, just not nothing I look for. Um, Any more, if you guys want my, you know, my <laughs> very amateur recommendation on comics, anything 60 cents that say 60 cents or less on a comic, I think it's like an 80s or back. Um, I always pick those up. It seems like we sell them at the store for at least five bucks a piece, no matter what. So if I can pick those up for less than, you know, two, three bucks a piece. I always grab them every time just because we make good money off them. So um, anytime you can double your money, especially on comics, you know, and it attracts the young kids as well. And, you know, those 30-somethings that were big into comics when they were kids. So um, we always are out the lookout for the, the, the comics, the older comics, 60 cents or less. So then I found these buff bunnies here. These buff bunnies, I think, are pretty – I thought they were really cool. I don't think they're old. I think they're just that primitive style look to things. But – um amber kind of gave me the meh kind of thing so it's like all right maybe not <laughs> maybe it's just me my 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 funny sense of buying i guess i thought they were kind of cool and then there's another one over here as well just like i said just looks like a buff bunny for easter effort we probably could have sold them but i think they were like 18 bucks a piece 
So for us to try to get 30 or something out of them, I just didn't see that happening. So you had to pass on those guys, but there was so much stuff here. Like I said, if you guys, you guys will see in this video, I mean, this video is a 21 minute video. The tour is probably at least 18 minutes. And, you know, again, we have to cut stuff out as well when either we're stopping and talking to somebody. But, you know, you guys will see this place has so much to offer, uh, the, you know, between uh, dishes, pottery, glass, uh, holiday, primitive, farmhouse, cottage style. I mean, it's so much to offer in this place. It's tough to, you know, go through and get everything but that's why you got to come out here and check this place out and again apologize for the clocks in the background every hour every hour they always go off uh but there is such a good variety here as well you know you got the pedal cars down there the globes i mean advertising it was just a very pleasant surprise to see how big this place was and how much they had to offer and again i think it goes back to the owner and the vendors that really take the time and the effort to go into putting a a solid store together because it's not easy putting an antique store together as much as people think you can just pop the doors open and go it's really not that easy it's a lot of work that goes into it which we'll be talking about soon in our q a video is coming up uh, we have one coming up i think this weekend uh so stay tuned for that um those are a lot of fun as well we get to answer a lot of questions for you guys that are wondering how easy it is to get into the antique business or how easy it is to sustain yourself in a business or even just questions about you know items in general i mean it's not not as easy as you think you know it's just like any other business it takes time and effort to put into it um, but there's a place that a lot of people as well i mean we came there on a thursday um, and there was quite a lot of people shopping here so that just shows you right off the bat that this place is a uh, um, definitely well shoppable and a lot of people like it in this area so I found this really cool uh, lamp here now most of these crystal lamps you see are just the plain crystals this one actually put colored crystals on it and I thought that looked really cool uh, and her amber didn't really uh, she liked it but she's you know what are we gonna do with the kind of thing which is true I don't know what we're gonna do with it but I thought it looked cool um, and then they have a Christmas room upstairs so of course we had to check that out full of blow molds uh you guys have seen amber's collection it's pretty tough to find one she doesn't have anymore so um the little sand up there she already had two i thought she didn't have that one but it turns out she did um but a lot of these blow molds are ones that she already has so we don't really look at them too much and we don't we still have i think 60 blow molds left from that huge lot we bought in mason um left to sell so we don't really need any more to resell we're gonna have a nice stock coming out for the holiday season that before you know it, it'll be here which is probably like six months away seven months away from us having to bring this stuff back out again so uh it's kind of crazy to think you know as you get older how fast time goes which i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that um because man it seems like it's you know before you know it it's february and you're ready for summer and then before you know it it's christmas again so um, but yeah, this was a really nice area up here. Uh, again, whoever has it has a nice little decor from the vintage Christmas to the newer Christmas in one room. Um, and you know, this was the newer stuff in here, I think. Or it just has a different style. So each room you're walking into in a Christmas area has a different look to it, which is really cool. This stuff is not necessarily our kind of stuff, the newer Christmassy, silvery kind of looks. That's not really our what we look for when we try to buy Christmas stuff. So you know want to show you guys it but definitely nothing we we're going to hang out in too long and buy much just because it's not the stuff we look for but again everybody has their own taste and i hope that's what one thing you guys can get out of this whole these tours that we're doing of all over michigan is that just because it's something that we don't like or don't not even that i want to say don't like that's not the right word when we don't buy or we don't look into it very much it's just because it's not our style but there's so many people have that style out there that'll go out there and uh, would love a lot of the stuff they see that we just are not into as much as you guys love stuff that we're not into and I love stuff that you're not into so I mean that's a nice little display cabinet right there I don't think I've ever seen one like that where it has these spindles inside the glass I thought that was really nice um, you know so definitely make sure you guys always keep that in mind if it's something that just because we didn't pick it up or look at it extra long it doesn't mean that we don't appreciate it it's just something that we either were just not necessarily into so we uh, you know it's just one of those things. I just, you know, I wish people to understand that sometimes. I get yelled at quite a bit when I don't stop and look at stuff as much as I should, I guess. Um, but it's just stuff we're not into. It's stuff we see all the time. You guys got to remember also, too, <clears throat> we are also out on the road all the time. At shops and antique stores everywhere. So it's a lot of stuff we see quite a bit. Like those uh, M&M displays right there. A guy was, you know, telling us how awesome it was. I mean, I see those all the time. That's like, I, I got like four of those I've seen in the last month or two. 
You know, it's just, you know, they're cool. I think they're awesome. It's just, you know, not super unique. Um, I wish I would have got a better picture of this. This is actually, they marked as a, a moose. And you, you can't really see the horn because I did a terrible job of showing you guys. But it's definitely not a moose. <laughs> it's an elk. It's an elk. And I was telling Amber, I'm like, I'm pretty sure we're not looking. I only kind of see a little bit of the horns there. But this reminds me of our leather tiger we have at the store. This is just a smaller version. Yeah, you guys can see the horns a little bit. But, um, yeah, so I, I thought it was a cool piece. Uh, but just, again... Nothing that was worth to make the extra money off of to go do. But, I mean, I, I still think you guys can notice out of this so how beautifully set up all these booths are. And they have a lot of great – I would have noticed I – I would say this place has a lot of kitchenware. So you're looking at cabinets and utensils and canisters, Pyrex, mixing bowls, a lot of stuff like that. This uh, cabinet or that little box to the left there, Amber, was really into – um, but the price was up there too, where, you know, it's just something that we didn't really need as well as couldn't really make some money off of. So we kind of passed on that guy, but, but yeah, you know, and again, you guys will see like, look how big the store is. I mean, like I said, this is, you know, and this is me having to cut out a few bit too. I mean, so you guys will definitely have a couple hours in here of shopping. I mean, it was fun. It was, like I said, this is even us being burnt out a little bit from the whole day. I mean, it's like I said, this is our sixth or seventh shop we were at that day and you know, we still had a blast at the shop. It was just so much fun to get kind of reinvigorated as you're walking through, seeing stuff that's like, oh man, it kind of, it kind of pops you a little bit. Just like that door right here, a beautiful stained glass work. I thought was just really nice. Um, and again, it's cool going to different areas because this is about two hours from our location, you know, at our house, even our business. So <clears throat> to actually go through and see these things and, uh, you know, get a different style because even two hours away is a completely different market than what our market is. So to see their different market and the snowshoes are always smart to pick up. We always sell them for a hundred to 125 all day, but I think those are 95, which is usually, that's actually a really good price to buy. Um, but just not to resell. Um, but yeah, going to different markets like this is so much fun. I mean, we're planning, we, we have to head off to the east side of the state near Detroit and north of Detroit. And I'm really excited to see the pricing differences out there and see if we can pick anything up for cheaper that we can sell better on the west side of the state. Because I mean, that's as much as you don't think it's a big deal, it really is. I mean, even 45 minutes from our store is a huge diff price difference than, than where our store is, which is kind of crazy. We have a lot of people from the Grand Rapids, Lansing area, which are bigger areas in Michigan that shop at our store because we can get, they can get stuff a lot cheaper at our store to resell for higher prices at their store because they got a higher clientele and a higher market share there. So um, it's just something cool. I mean, we were actually, uh, when we were at, uh, Fenton at yesterday's treasures, uh, Stacy, the owner there told us something that was kind of funny. You know, she's like, it's kind of the point where all we are, are antique dealers selling and trading our stuff back and forth to each other, you know, <laughs> which was to me was kind of funny because it's really actually kind of true. You know how much stuff I've bought from antique stores or dealers or from auctions and shows, you're just buying the stuff back to each other and then selling it off to somebody else and then buying it back again at some point. I mean, it's just a lot of fun. I mean, that glass set was $42. I want to make sure I pointed that out to myself so I remembered. A lot of those mid-century modern glass sets or the vintage glass sets sell really well. Just, again, that price was up there where we couldn't do much with. That was a nice train booth there. Uh, trains are tough for me. I don't do much with trains. We sold that one huge collection a while back. Um but that looked like a nice little Mark's trains and a bunch of different um, other train sets in there. So, so yeah, we're kind of finishing up this tour here. Uh, so I think we only got maybe a, a minute or two left of walking around here. This booth in the back, that was literally the last booth we went to, was the stuff I look at the most for myself, not necessarily for the store. Um, but a lot of, like, sports stuff and comics and stuff like that. So I thought that was a pretty cool spot for me to go and look at personally, but... I stopped in a lot of booths and looked at a lot of great stuff today. So the vintage farmhouse was definitely something you guys should look out for. And again, if we look at the end, you can kind of see Amber when I do an ending of this video. She looks a little burnt out, man. She's rubbing her eyes. <laughs> it was a long day. And we still had a couple more shops to go visit. So um, shout out to the vintage farmhouse. A lot of fun here. Um, just a lot of great, great items and a, great people that work there. So I really appreciate you guys going through this tour with us. Um, and again, uh, definitely, if you guys are in Holly, stop out to the Vintage Farmhouse. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun here with a lot of great items. Um, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. So, all right, let's get to this outro. We have a stake in the game. Hi, how are we doing today? <laughs> <laughs> that is the uh, tour for the Vintage Farmhouse in Holly, Michigan. Huge store. I mean, that place was humongous. 
Uh, so that was a nice long video for you guys. A lot of great stuff in there. A lot of Easter themed stuff, which obviously is what you expect right now because that's what a lot of people are buying. Um, but a little bit of everything. I mean, they had, you know, vintage, antique. I mean, like I said, great variety. Uh, the outside stuff was really nice. Uh, we didn't end up buying anything. Amber was going to grab that blow mold, but found out there was a hole in the hand. And we just couldn't find anything else that we were like, oh, yeah, you know, really not that. Like a lot of Easter stuff. So, I mean, what, you know, which is what the, what it should be because it's easter coming up but just for us we look for a lot of different items not just always holiday stuff so but no the vintage farmhouse was a great place to visit um very nice people it seemed like um yeah i don't know anything else you want to say about it no 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 um, it was good i said it was a good job i mean like i said that's the thing i mean if you're coming out to holly you're gonna come visit here because the displays were really well. They That's did, what I was just going to yeah, say. They did Each a really good job. Very, very they did well. a very good job of putting it together, decorated really nicely. If you're going to come to Holly, you definitely are going to come on and visit this place. It's so huge. There's so much stuff in there. I mean, you're definitely bound to find something if you're just looking to buy. Um, so, yeah, Vintage Farmhouse, a success in Holly. Definitely you want to come out and visit this place. Um, but we are on to the next place in Holly, which I think is either the Blue Willow Exchange or Holly Antiques, whatever one's closer. So we are going to head off there. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys want to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that great stuff, you know it's much appreciated, but not required. We just appreciate you guys watching the videos. Um, and of course, you know, feel free to come out to our antique shop and talk to Amber. She'll talk to you for days. I'll talk to you for days. You know, about the business, about life, about what we do on YouTube. Anything you guys want to talk about. We've seen so many people that have uh, watched us on YouTube today. I mean, it was a lot of fun, too. So, uh, thank you guys again. And uh, feel free to come out and get your antique fix on, on M66. M66. See you guys later. Bye.